Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Lee and I come from Bukit Matajam in Penang. And right now, I'm staying in Kluang, Johor. So welcome everyone to my uh, YouTube channel, especially my new program, which is uh, Dr. Lee's Method Revision. 38 Days Grammar Challenge. So actually, um, I started with uh, this book. I started with this book and I I sold this book. You know, many of our YouTube subscribers, uh, the friends, relatives, and you know, they bought this book. And um, when I was doing this book, I thought to myself, uh, I can't just sell the book because uh, I'm thinking on behalf of the people who buy the book. Uh, I thought to myself, what if they buy and they are unable to do the questions? So what will happen? I just imagine that, you know, if I were a person who buys a book and um, I'm stuck in the middle, what am I going to do? Most of the time, uh, people will just give up. They'll put one side. You know, and um, after some time, it becomes a forgotten issue. So because of that, after selling this book, I started to uh, upload videos. And uh, I started to um, teach this book. So there are 38 chapters in this book, 38 of the most important part of grammar in this book. These 38 lessons or chapters will follow you all the way to the last day you learn English. Because no matter how big or how small you are, you need to learn, for example, tenses, present tense and past tense and future tense, present continuous, past continuous, and you have to learn. You have to learn adjectives and pro, um, prepositions. You have to learn articles, you know. You, you just cannot escape. So you, it will follow you. These 38 chapters will follow you all the way until you know the day you stop learning. So um, I started to upload videos as soon as uh, people started buying this book. So at that time, I just um, concentrated on this book. So every video, I was actually teaching, teaching, teaching every question in this book. And um, I completed this book. Every question in this book, 1,324 questions I completed all. So those people who have bought this book, they can always come to my YouTube channel and uh, attend my lessons chapter by chapter. Okay, and then you can do the exercises, you can check the answers behind and you can follow my YouTube channel to understand the uh, rules and the regulations and why the answers are so. So, after finishing this book, I, I stopped for a while. And now, I'm back again, but with a different approach, a different style, where I'm still focusing on these 38 chapters. You can see the word revision there. I'm still focusing on the 38 chapters, but the questions are not the same. They are not the same. Okay, the questions here and the questions here are not the same. They are different. And the style is different as well. When I was teaching this book, all I did was just to, you know, every lesson I just discuss, discuss, discuss every question in the book. Explain, explain, explain. This is the second round, the second cycle. For those of you who have bought this book, this is the second time you are going, going, uh, you are going through this book uh, chapter by chapter. But uh, the questions are different. That means you have a second round as well. So I call this the second cycle. And this time my teaching style is different because uh, I start with correction because I give homework every video. I give homework. So like uh, like now, I will start with. The homework I gave you the last video. Okay, we will discuss this. 
I will tell you why. And after that, I will teach you a new chapter or an old chapter and then followed by a new homework. So the next lesson, I will do homework first, correction, then I will teach a new chapter and then I give new homework. Okay, so in a way, I feel that it is more exciting for students or for subscribers, you know, or for those people who follow my YouTube channel. Uh, because um, you have a chance to participate actively and you'll be more motivated, more interested and you'll be eagerly waiting for the new, the new video because uh, you want to check whether your answers are correct like here did you get all correct? if not, it's okay we are learning so now, I will start off with uh, this correction there is an eagle flying in the sky so when it is the first time you mention this eagle, you use N a E I O U, so it means one eagle. And then remember the last lesson I taught you: the sky, the moon, the sun. Only one of a kind. The sun comes out during the day. Same. The sun, the day. So I I will now underline and show you. So this is because of the A E I O U, and then you know that sky, sun, day. Only one. So you have to use the. While the moon comes out at night, same. We use the because there is only one moon. One of a kind. I can see a duck swimming in the pond. The duck is black in color. So first time you mention the duck, you use a. Second time you mention the same duck, it becomes the. And then the pond is, we know that it is swimming there. So it's not a pond, it's the pond because we already know. Molly is a nurse. Remember occupation we use a. A nurse, a teacher, a doctor. She works in one hospital which we don't know. So you just say a hospital. And then she drives a car to work. First time we mention. Normally um, for transport we use a. Okay, like a car, a motorcycle, a bicycle. The Nam River is the longest river in the world. I told you before river you must use the. And then with EST, you use the world, only one world, therefore you use the. The ship sail in the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is very big. Remember, why I say the ship? Why? Because I use past tense. So when I use past tense, it means to say I already know about it. So when I know about it, I should use the and not a. So here is because of the past tense. And then remember ocean you have to use the. Ocean you have to use the. Okay, ocean we use the. Karen is the most hardworking student in this school. Again, this is called the superlative adjective. Remember? The most. The tallest. The cleverest. There is a boy standing at our gate. The boy is wearing a t-shirt and carrying a bag. So first time you mention the boy, you say a. Uh. Second time you mention the boy, it becomes the. And then he is one t-shirt and one bag. So the you know we mention a uh and a. Uh. Uh, one bag it means and then one t-shirt. So another reason is because uh, it is the first time we mention the bag, so we use a. Uh. And uh, I have um, completed six lessons. So last night I was thinking, why not I repeat the six lessons all mixed together? Maybe two or three chapters in one exercise. So that you become very uh, familiar and you become better each time. So remember I taught you about uh, common nouns. So common nouns means people, animals, places and things. You can see with your eyes. People, for example, boy. Animals, for example, cat. Places, for example, hotel. Things, for example, pen. And then I combine today with proper nouns. Actually, proper nouns is the second chapter, so I combine. 
So pranam is a name given to people, animals, places and things. For the boy, maybe we call him Peter. So Peter is a proper noun, big letter. Cat. We call the cat Kitty. So Kitty, K, big letter is the name given to the cat. Hilton Hotel, H, H, big letter. A name given to a hotel. Pen, a pilot pen, P, big letter. Here is not the one uh, flying an aeroplane, but rather a name of a company called Pilot. So P big letters. So this will be your homework for the next lesson for us to discuss the next lesson. This is to fill in the blanks with the correct common nouns. So all these blanks you must fill with common nouns here. All these. All these fill in right here. All these are nouns. Common nouns. And then exercise two. I have all these words, you are going to put them under common nouns or proper nouns to divide properly. Okay, so this is a homework for your next, uh, for this lesson. And we will discuss the next lesson. So that's all for today. I hope you like my video. And before I say goodbye to you, um, I would like to share with you what is happening now. So on the 9th of November, I started an online class and we finished on the 14th of December. We were also doing the 38 letters inside this book, but the questions were different again. And because it was a short course, I mixed all the 38 grammar exercise in, in together. So that means one exercise, you have many, many different types of grammar. The course has finally finished. And uh, of course, they enjoyed the course, me too. And now I'm planning for new courses. If you are interested to join my writing, speaking or grammar course, uh, you will please contact me. WhatsApp to me 019-7878-299. And if you want to buy this book, same, just WhatsApp to me. I'll arrange for the books to be sent to you. Okay, so that's all for this lesson. Please give me a like, share and subscribe. And until we meet the next lesson, goodbye.